this is not a good time for my rifle to not be showing up. Okay, we're just gonna have to rely on the on the sight here. Hurry, 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 hurry! Oh, not good, not good. Yowzers! Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue right where we left off. If you did not catch the last episode, we finally, for the very first time in this playthrough, um, broke into the Great River Basin from um, the Ring Lake and uh, the desert area here. So uh, we've basically been restricted to these two biomes for this entire playthrough. I uh, was not able to <coughs> get through until we finally... We're able to, was, was able to get through going through the Arctic here. Though that was a challenge in itself because we had three cliff faces. Well, actually two. This one wasn't so bad that we had to traverse that we ended up using ramps uh, to get to. So um, mostly what I want to do in this episode is I just want to kind of look around and explore and, and particularly look at this area because I really am fond of this area from what I remember uh, seeing of it in uh, on our multiplayer server. And then kind of figure out, <coughs> you know, what we're going to do next. Um, one decision that I still haven't made yet is whether or not I want to, um, do the Zephyr mission to unlock this, which would give us a much easier pathway through, or if we want to just stay in open world and not bother with the missions at all uh, for this series and just keep it purely open world. Now, if we go with the latter, um... Then what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to create some concrete ramps and make a permanent pathway through here when we need, you know, need to get through and come over here. Uh, and we need to do it concrete because if we do stone or anything less than that, it's going to take uh, storm damage. Now, we could do stone and I could just keep a hammer with me and, you know, keep them topped off. And that would probably be fine, too. It is my assumption and I could be wrong about this of course but it is my assumption that if the player is not in the biome then there really isn't a storm happening you know causing damage to structures now I could be completely wrong about that but you know video games generally are not going to actively burn a lot of processor cycles you know with a, a, a big storm going on and damaging uh, you know structures and stuff like that in a biome that the player is not in um, but again, if you guys know that that does happen in this game, uh, you know, then let me know. Um, if it doesn't, which is my guess, then we probably could get away with stone and I'll just have to keep them touched up every time we go through. Uh, but we definitely need at least stone. Uh, okay. So anyway, that being said, let's, uh, let's go ahead and hop on two here and, uh, start taking a look around uh, and particularly go over to that, that new ring lake. Um, as we go along... I am going to also, is my lantern on here? Uh, I am also going to harvest uh, more cocoa. So, uh, what? Don't do that. Uh, more cocoa, so that way we can make cocoa for the return trip, uh, you know, when we eventually head back. So, we'll be picking that up, you know, as we go along. And fortunately, it looks like there's quite a bit of it here in the immediate vicinity. Uh, wait, no, nope, not that, this. There we go. Uh, we need a total of 80 uh, to refill all four of our thermoses. Um, oh, and I actually, I have one thermos I haven't consumed yet, so we really only need to fill three. The other thermos is on um, two's inventory. That's coffee there. We don't need coffee. Okay, so uh, speaking of two, are you hungry? No, you're like full food. Okay. When we come across some corn, we'll we'll cut some corn uh, to feed too, because corn uh, fills them up very quickly, and you can get a lot of it. And soybeans do too, for that matter, but corn seems to be the easiest to use. So let's uh, kind of cruise on through here and just check some stuff out. Those are coffee plants. I haven't uh, I haven't spent any time to speak of in this area. I just came down here once on a live stream. Uh, you know, a couple months ago, I think it was now. And 
I just remember really liking this lake that's over here, and there wasn't at that time, there were, weren't any crocodiles in it either. Not that crocodiles are that big of a deal now. Um, they were a huge threat when we first started out, but uh, nowadays, no, not that big a deal. We can handle them. Uh, well, you know, the thing about it, though, is it's not a big deal for us, but it's still, you know, there's still a threat to the critters. So... Uh, we might want to try one of these vapor things at one point. My understanding about those, though, is you, it's kind of like a tower defense thing where once you start it, you get rushed by waves of creatures. And um, so, yeah, <laughs> that'll, that'll be interesting. Um, we'll probably have to fortify it with, like, concrete first and, you know, do some preparation. But I'd like to try that at least once before we, you know, we end this series here. Let's head on up this way. Um, make sure I'm going the right direction. Oh, no, actually, I'm not. Curiously, though, since we are going this way, can we get into this new Arctic biome? It looks like we probably can. Yeah, okay. Well, that's an another biome we can explore at some point. I'm curious too then, are there polar bears in this one? Because this is the, this is an enormous Arctic biome. Well, I guess it's not really any, it's not as big as this one overall, so. Uh, but I, I would be curious to know if there are polar bears in here. What kind of storm? Eh, just a basic, we're not gonna go real far into here. Uh, let's just go far enough to see if we can spot a polar. The, I, the only critters I saw in the other biome were wolves. I, I didn't even see a snow leopard in that biome, if there were any. Let's just go around over this way. Um, we're still, you know, needing to find mushrooms too, so, the, you know, that's another thing. We do come across an Arctic cave. We could. Um, the problem with grabbing the mushrooms is they'll start to spoil, though. You know what I think I'm gonna do? Since it's gonna be really easy to make another one of these, let's just go ahead and drink that right now. Because the more I think about it, the more I would like to find an Arctic cave. We won't necessarily pick the mushrooms right now, but I'd like to at least find the cave so I know where it is. And then right before we head back home, you know, we run in and grab them. So let's just look around for a little bit. I'm not going to, you know, it's not my intent to spend this entire episode in, in this Arctic biome, but I just want to look a little bit and see if we can spot at least one Arctic cave. And I know I can bring up the, you know, the website that shows where all that stuff is, but I typically, I don't like to do that in a new biome that I haven't explored yet. Once I've mostly explored it, then I don't mind looking to see if I miss something, but... When it's the first time through, I like to try and find stuff on my own because that's part of the fun of exploration. That's just how I roll. Not everybody will agree with that, and that's fine. You play the way you play and have lots of fun doing it. More power to you. Okay, let's go up here. Okay, there's a cave there, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is a cave. And let's hope it's an Arctic cave and not a normal cave. to follow me. Ah, yes, this is an Arctic cave. Fantastic, okay. Oh, cave. <laughs> and there we go, there's some shrooms right there. Actually, you know what, I'm not gonna shoot him because then I'll have to go get the arrow. Don't hit me. Okay, good, that's, that's all I needed to know. So we can come back here later um, it's just right past this little ridge and then up here. I mean, I could, mar I could even mark it, but it's not too terribly far into the biome. And we will grab those mushrooms before we head back out. Oh, I hear a polar too. Good. That's good, because I'd like to, I'd like to maybe f um, farm polars. Well, mostly for XP, I guess. I don't think... 
they do they drop anything special? Maybe they drop polar bear fur? Because I know there's that polar bear armor. But I just I heard a bear. Where'd he go? Hmm. I thought I heard a bear. In on Olympus, the last time I played, the polar bears were you know, frighteningly abundant. Maybe they're rarer now, I don't know. Could have sworn I heard a bear growl though. Turn a lantern off. Do I have another full lantern? Oh, I have two more full lanterns. That's even better. Hmm. Okay, well, let's get on back out of here. What time is it? Oh, it's getting late, too. All right. Well, yeah, let's head on out uh, back into the forest biome, and we will... Uh, I'll see if I can find a, a cave there that we can spend the night in. So we're not running around in the dark. Oh, here's a cave right here. I th well, is it, actually? I'm not sure. That'd be even better, because it's much closer to the forest. It is. It's just a, a bit odd, but it is a cave. And it looks like it's an... Oh, look at that. Mushrooms right there. Beautiful. Even better. Okay. Let's head on back out of here so we don't have to waste ammo on that guy. And we'll instead mark this area. All right. Fantastic. So we will now have, when we head back home, a supply of mushrooms. It's going to be great. Then the, that's going to open up some more recipes for us. Okay, let's get out of this Arctic biome. Actually, maybe we should just spend the night in that cave. Because I don't, I don't know where another cave is nearby. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, I'm just going to use my rifle. Where's the worm? I don't even see it. Oh, he's... There he is. Okay. It's got that bug where the, you can't see the rifle. Okay, two. Where are you, two? Come with me. That sounds like a polar bear. This is not a good time for my rifle to not be showing up. That is a polar bear. There he is. Oh. Okay, we're just gonna have to rely on the on the site here. Not good, not good. Yowzers. All right. Our very first polar bear kill, kill of the series. Yay us. Ah, we do get polar bear pelt. Okay, I couldn't remember. We're going to... Let's hang on to that just because, um, I don't know. I might make the polar bear armor at some point just for the heck of it. Probably won't, but I might. Never say never. All that kind of stuff. All right, where's that cave at again? It's so hard to find. It's over here, right? Yeah. All right, come on in here, too. This worm repopped. We don't technically need to kill it, I guess, but we will anyway. All right, so let's go to inventory... Got to put this down first. And... Uh-oh. 
Uh, oh, we got wood. Never mind. I was going to say, we don't have any wood. Yeah, we do. Colliding. Okay. Here we go. Get this back up. And, um... Have one of those, one of those, one of those, and one of those. We'll top everything off, and we should be good to go. Now, there is a bunch of mushrooms in here, so what I think I'm going to do, let's harvest one, and I just want to see how long the spoil timer is going to be on it. Let's finish you off with these, and then we'll get you some corn when we get into the forest biome. Free up a little bit of space here. Sustenance enhancement tonic. Oh, yeah. Um, that stuff sounded so good until I realized that it only lasts for 120 seconds. So it's not really all that great. <laughs> it doesn't last long enough to be that worthwhile, in my humble opinion, which you're all entitled to. I'm not saying it's useless, I'm just saying it's not as good as I had originally thought it would be. You coming? Okay. Well, that was, uh, we got a little bit sidetracked, but it was a worthwhile sidetrack. For sure. Crap, now we have to deal with a frickin' storm here in the forest. Let's grab this coke rope. We have 80, we have 100. Okay, that's all we need. Alright, two. Let's go check out the Ring Lake area. It's just right over the side of this ridge. There she is. Yeah, we're not getting a good sense of it right now, of course, because of the storm, so we'll have to wait for that to clear. Um, let's go down this way. Now, if we go all the way up this side of the... Is that a sulfur or gold? I think it's gold. Where am I? Yeah, that's gold. Nice. Let's uh, switch these out. If we go all the way up to the south end of the lake, we should find the entrance to the big cave that crosses back into the desert, but it should be blocked to us. Uh, it certainly was on the other side anyway. cave here. Pretty sure. Yeah, because this is the entrance here coming out the other side. So it's completely blocked off. Well, that's what I expected it to be. I was kind of hoping we could go inside of it a little ways, though, because on the other end, it wasn't blocked until we got inside the cave. In, in a little ways. But yeah, it's completely blocked off up here. Okay. Well, let's just hang out, I guess, up here until the storm abates so we can kind of see things a little bit better. Because right now it's hard to see. All right, so uh, the storm's pretty much over. And uh, now we can get a much nicer view of this this valley. I really, really like the look of this. The problem with building here, though, is 
you know, I mean, if we build on the island, say goodbye to the trees. They are, they will absolutely disappear. Um, so if we ever did build, like, a secondary base up here, we might build it, uh, I mean, we could even build it here. And then, you know, have the nice view looking out over the valley. Um, but we don't want to be anywhere near those trees on that island or they'll, they'll all get destroyed. And even, you know, being right here might be a little, a little close. I really wish there was a way in this game that you could prevent the trees from being destroyed by the storms. Um, I've never heard of such a thing, but that would be fantastic. Maybe somebody will make a mod sometime that'll do that. Um... Or, you know, let, l allow us to replant the trees. But even that's not, wouldn't be real practical because they'd just continue to get blown down. So you'd have to be planting them all the time. But it just, you know, it doesn't ruin the view, but it detracts from the, the gorgeousness and the beauty of this game. You know, when all your trees get destroyed around your base. It just sucks. Uh, it looks like we would cause a couple trees to get knocked down over there from the storm. But anyway, yeah, this is um, this is another ring lake, and uh, there are no crocs in this lake, uh, which again is another reason why it would be an ideal place for uh, a base location. We can have, you know, I mean, I don't I don't know exactly how long I'm going to continue this series, but if if we did a really long play, we could have you know multiple bases uh, across the map, outpost that sort of thing. One thing I am curious about, though, too, is how big of the bear over there, how big of a pain in the butt is it going to be for us to get into the other biomes if we stay in open world and don't do any missions? So, yeah. That's another consideration. Real pretty around here, though. Okay, let's go over this way. Right at the top of this ridge here, it's fairly flat in this area, so this could be kind of a cool place for a base, too. Um, we could, uh, you know, you could, like, wall it in and have a compound, but then have your base looking out over the valley, look in this direction, and have the view from here. And depending upon, you know, how large we made it, we could also go over to this side and then have this neat looking view down through here. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how we're gonna how we're gonna handle that. How are those mushrooms doing? Oh yeah, they're they're going down, but pro probably not any faster than anything else would. But, you know, we'll just grab a big old stack of them before we leave, and then we'll have plenty by the time we get back to the, to the main base. Um, now, another base spot would be over here. So this would be kind of the, the opposite of the other side. We're, uh, once again, up on a ridge looking down over the valley. But the advantage to be on this side is we're, we have quicker access to the Arctic, too. And it's also, you know, reasonably flat right in here as well. So the house itself could be just up here looking out over the valley that way. <clears throat> Man, look at that huge stone wall. That big, all that stone right there would not normally be there. It's just completely blocking access to that biome. I really wish they wouldn't have done that in open world. I really, really do. I don't know why it's blocked. It it doesn't. It kind of doesn't make sense if you ask me, because if a player wants to do an open world playthrough, why would you still require them to do missions to unlock biomes? I almost wonder if that's unintentional and if it's something they need to, to fix. I don't know. Not sure about that. Not sure about that.
Uh, but yeah, nice view from up here too. Really, I mean, you can't, you almost can't go wrong, no matter where you decide to build, <laughs> in terms of the view. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll give it some thought. Uh, one bad thing about this area, there's no running water, so you know we wouldn't have access to water wheels. Uh, we'd have to go all the way here, out there, to to get access to that. Not a big deal, but just a consideration, you know. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's um, let's head up here, and I, I just want to see if that area is also open. I'm assuming it is. And then, yeah, we'll just kind of continue uh, doing some exploration, looking around, that sort of thing. Why am I showing blood at the bottom of my screen? Two's at full health. I'm at full health. Oh, okay. It went away. Just must have been left over from the storm exposure, I guess. almost looks like a road right here. Alright. Let's head up this way. Yep, looks like we can indeed get back into the Arctic. Okay, let's go let's go into the Arctic a little ways and see if we can find another cave. with mushrooms in it. I'm not going to worry about uh, cocoa and uh, as long as a storm doesn't start. I mean, we have... How much natural protection do we have from cold? Oh, none. What? Is it because we're on the mount? Yeah, 50%. wonder why that shows zero when we're mounted. I don't think that's accurate. I think maybe that's... I don't know, a glitch or something. There's another big cliff right there. Can we uh, get through here? Back out into this area? That might be a challenge going over this way. Yeah, I think I think it looks like we can get down there. Okay. I was just curious. It's good to know that for future planning and whatnot. Um there we go. <laughs> I did hit the jump button, but the, the way the jumping works on these critters is you actually have to be standing still. You can't run jump with them, and I always forget that. Okay, as soon as we get our stamina back, we're going to swing over to the other side of the valley and just see if we can spot a, a cave. We need to watch out for crevasses, though, too. Uh, that looks like a cave right there. Okay. The question now is, is it an arctic cave or just a normal cave? <laughs> this is a normal cave. So we're not going to find any shrooms in here. Huh. Okay. Oh. All 
All right, two. Let's go. I don't remember. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I do remember normal caves being in the Arctic bombs and Olympus. Yeah, I think I I think there were some. Okay. Yeah, that's right. There were. I just forgot about that little tidbit there. All righty, so we are back in the forest. There's a coal node, it looks like. So let's take a look at the map. And I think what we're going to do is... I've, I, I've never been down in this area, not even on the multiplayer server, so it might be cool um, to go explore that area and see if this is open up, uh, opens up into this Arctic biome and see if there's, it looks like there might be some passage caves that might go into uh, this desert area and and just kind of taking a quick look, it looks like this desert area might have more canyons in it than the other one, which is kind of cool because it gives it a little more flavor. And just, you know, kind of keep doing some exploring. So we're basically just going to go on a big expedition for the next few episodes and see how much ground we can cover. And again, I realize that by the time we get back to our base, everything's going to be dead, but that's okay. We, sh we can recover from all of that. Um, and just, you know, kind of kind of do the wandering thing uh, for a while and uh, just check this place out and see what's unlocked what's blocked and that sort of thing uh but guys we are out of time in this episode so hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode bye, -bye.